Hello guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see usage of git blame command. So I want to see the details of a file. For example, I want to know the details of each and every line in a file, like the timestamp when that was modified and the author who updated that specific line. So if you notice here, it's providing the information about each and every line, the author who modified that line and the timestamp when that was committed to Git repository. Git blame can be used with various options. For example, we might have a very big file and we want to limit our results only to a specific lines. I can do that using iPhone L. Let's say I want to confine my results to the lines 1 and 2. Instead of 1, 2, even I could specify plus 2, meaning from line number 1 onwards 2 lines. I could say anything there. Let's say I want to uh, see 4 lines from line number 1. Then I can use iPhone L, 1, plus 4. Let's say I want to see the information up to a specific tag. Let's say I want to get the information up to V1. Git blame. And it's giving me the information up to this specific tag. Instead of tags, we also can provide the time. Let's say I want to see recent one week of changes. It's kind of providing me the information for recent one week. Let me take a different repository for this example because uh, all the changes I made is very recent. They are one or two days old. there let me take Jenkins file there so it's giving me all the details from day one of this file creation but I want to see the changes happened only in last one week It's providing me all the information, but uh, the data which is older than one week begins with the cap symbol. So in my case, I want to see only lines which is updated since one week. So I need to uh, club this one with a grep. So this is going to get me all the lines which is beginning with that cap symbol but I want reverse of it right so I use iPhone V so it actually mean so it's getting me all the lines which is one week old and the rest is ignored with help of grep here that's about a git blame command thanks for watching